Sam Booth, boxer, streamer, YouTuber, cult leader, hated by some and loved by others, once predicted to be the next great pound for pound boxing legend, now become known for his dark humour. But is there any truth to the things he says? Or is it simply just jokes on the internet? Tiny Rhea top three best murderers. Jeffrey Dahmer, I think I like him the best. Now it's no secret that Tyan has a fascination with serial killers. Obsessed with serial killer documentaries. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer used to like drill holes, you know, into his fucking victims and pour acid, you know, into their fucking brain to try and like keep them alive. He was fucking mad. <laughs> But is it more than just the curiosity of a middle-aged white woman? Who exactly is Tyan? Where did he come from? And how did he develop into the man he is today? Born in Nottingham Forest, to a white mum and a black dad, who often worked away, Tyan would spend hours at the local library, reading books. It's during this time, that Tyan discovered one of his earliest role models, notorious serial killer, Harold Shipman. You know, Harold Shipman, he'd give like old women heroin, you know, to kill them. And he'd like forge their will, you know, so that they give him all their money. Now inspired, at the age of 16, Tyan wanted to follow in the footsteps of his new hero. So when I was like knocking on this fucking old white woman's door, she like opened the curtains and she'd see me. And she probably thought I was trying to rob her. So I started like banging on the door and like punching the door and kicking the door saying, give me my fucking ball back. So she had a heart attack and died. That's more like manslaughter. That's fucking manslaughter. Although Tyan was disappointed he'd not committed full murder, there was still one thing that he would never do. So I had to go to court and I got fined about £800. So it had nothing to do with rape. Don't assume that there had to be a rape involved. It had nothing to do with rape. But let me get on with this Q&A. Those feelings would seem to change though when he went on to sympathise with serial sex pervert, Jimmy Savile. So if she was in the mental health hospital that Jimmy Savile had the keys to, and you're his mate, then he invited you to the hospital because he's got the keys. Would you go to bang that Amber Heard? You know, Johnny Depp's ex-wife, you would, wouldn't you? Oh, come on, man. Loads of people are mentally fucked. I might be mentally deranged. Yeah, if I went to the, the psychiatrist, they'd probably put me on some kind of scale of autism or something like that. So I'm, I'm probably mentally fucked. Does that mean that I don't deserve fucking sex? And as time progressed, there seemed to be no limit to what Tyan would do for sex. Would you have accepted an invite to Epstein's Island? Yeah, 100%. I would have gone, I would definitely have gone if I got that invite. And not only was his depraved mind becoming more sexual, his fascination with serial killers only seemed to be getting stronger. Yorkshire Ripper, the goat of serial killers, yeah. He's up there, he's not, he's not the goat. He only murdered about seven people, so. And although Tyne wasn't impressed with the body count of the Yorkshire Ripper, they did have one thing in common. The fascination for female victims. And more specifically, sex workers. So yeah man, but I like the Yorkshire Ripper. He used to drive around parts of Sheffield that I used to drive around. 
and as well as going looking for sex workers, he would also invite them to him. I don't know, you know these escorts, they come around, yeah. And they've got like a, like a little listening device on them, you know, in case like I try to rape them. I've done a bit of research on it and they're like, they've got their pimp outside, he like drops them off. This was a problem, a big problem. Because as long as the sex workers were bringing the pimps around, Cyan wasn't able to get violent with the women. And for Cyan, that's what he wanted the most. And he seemed to be prepared to do anything to do it. Some women deserve a beating, man. I don't care how you try and fucking dress it up. Some women deserve a pasting. Yeah, they deserve a beating. I don't give a fuck about all this political correctness. There's some women deserve a pasting. Now as time goes by, a lot of people have started to question Tyan's mental health, claiming to see an obvious decline. I'm gonna be honest with you, like my life right now is fucking shit. It's absolute garbage, like. I'm at rock bottom. I've been a bit low today, to be honest with you. It might be a bit of a low energy life, but been a bit low. I think it's because I haven't been training for a few days. But declining mental health or not, there was one thing for certain. His views only seem to be getting more and more extreme. Uh, Fred and Rose West, they like murdered kids, didn't they? So that's not good, is it? It's not hard, is it, to murder a kid? What do you think Madeleine McCann would be out of 10 these days? Well, when she got kidnapped, you know the photos of her when she was young, she looked quite nice. Do you know what I mean? It's like that kid out of Home Alone, you know, Macaulay Culkin, when he was in Home Alone, he was quite cute, wasn't he? Now some people have said it's all just an act, a way of getting attention online. But there is an old saying, you either die a hero, or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Or in Tyan's case, live just long enough to see yourself become just like your own heroes. Got the badge on. I'm gonna go to a student accommodation in a minute, you know, just pretend I work there, innit? Best live already, yeah? Wait till I get hold of a fucking woman, man. <laughs> 